These are karambit knives. And besides looking sharp and beautiful, they are extremely fun to use. So in the past week, I tried to learn a bunch of tricks with them. From the easiest to the really hard ones. And then combining them to create an insane combo at the end. Are these things dangerous? Probably. But apparently, you really like to see me spin knives, so I bought two of them. I was ready to become a CSGO character in real life. Kind of. So, I immediately started learning the easiest and most popular one, the backspin. There are three main karambit knife grips. And to do the first trick, we need to slip the index finger through the hole at the end of the karambit's handle, resting the thumb against the ring of the knife and wrapping the remaining fingers around the handle. The movement is pretty easy. It's too scary though. Oh. Starting from the reverse grip, we flick the wrist while opening the hand. In the beginning, I wasn't that good and I kept stinging my arm. My hand looks like Pimpa. It's, it's an Italian cartoon, whatever. It's not that it's painful, but it's not enjoyable either. Anyways, with a bit of practice, it didn't take me much to get more fluid and faster. Look at this. That's great. And since I really wanted to survive making this video, I also bought wristbands. This way, I basically solved all my problems because the blade of the karambit isn't really sharp. But the tip? The tip is not friendly. Before moving to the hard tricks of the final combo, I also tried with two karambits and surprisingly I had no problem. And with a slight variation of this trick, you can achieve a really cool movement. Spinning the knife to the front and bringing it back, spinning it again and catching it the second time. Well, in the beginning it didn't look that great, but with a bit of practice and hope. Oh my god, thanks for respect. I started to gain speed and the movement was looking sharp. You see what I did there? <laughs> my index finger is crying, but I feel like I'm on my way to become, I don't know, a ninja. <laughs> So now, the first of three hard tricks, including the final combo, is way harder than the previous ones. And it's something called flip extension. It took me a good five minutes just to figure out what the guy in the tutorial was doing. But the end result is great. For this one, we start again from the reverse grip. This time though, instead of performing a normal backspin, we need to face the arm downward and form a sort of okay symbol. Now, when you spin the knife, the right movement should look like this. All right. So far, so good. And then the real trick consists in combining the front spin with the extension. Front spin into extension, extension into spin, then front and back. Once you figure this out, the theory is actually quite simple. This movement reminds me of the helix with the butterfly knife. And like the helix, it took me a while to get it. The guy in the tutorial was fast and smooth, while my trick was eh. But you know how it works. Practice is the only way we have to get better. And slowly, I started to improve, following the movement of the knife with my arm until the trick looked like a continuous fluid motion. And I was insanely happy about it. Let's go! This is insanely fun! The second trick to put in the final combo before moving to the hardest one is called figure eight. And like the figure eight with the nunchucks, it basically consists in following an 8 path with the movement and it's insanely cool when you can do it. The only problem is that this knife is pretty sharp inside the ring and my index finger was imploring me to stop. And as soon as I put the tape on the finger I started to get something decent. <laughs> I still wasn't sure if the movement was completely correct though. Sideways, down and up. I simply kept trying over and over until the motion finally started to get more fluid. That's literally skin. And in about 20 minutes of practice I was insanely happy with the results. <laughs> Let's go. And that's why I decided to move to the final trick and I can't wait to combine all of this in an insane combo at the end. The only little problem is that the last trick was insanely hard and it's so unknown that I couldn't even find the tutorial for it. I only found a video in 240p that was showing the move and obviously I couldn't understand a single thing. This one is called switch finger and as the name implies it consists in spinning the knife while switching grips. Going from keeping the index finger in the ring then the thumb then the pinky and then going back to the index finger once again. It's hard and extremely complicated. Practicing intuitively this time wasn't even an option. I literally have no idea I literally have no idea what I'm doing. So I tried to break down all the movements I saw in the video. <laughs> First, spinning the knife to the front and then rotating it to pass it from the index finger to the thumb. What I was doing wasn't completely identical to the movement in the video because while practicing, I realized that one of the funniest things you can do in this trick is following the flow and improvise whenever you want. So I kept practicing, adding a few movements, but still ending up with the karambit around the thumb. It's so cool. I'm a helicopter now. <laughs> the second part of the trick consists in moving the knife from the thumb to the pinky finger and doing something with the pinky. And after that, we basically repeat the same process in reverse. And when the knife goes back to the index finger, the trick is done. I started slowly, one small movement at a time. And I kept repeating parts of the tricks in order to make my muscles remember what to do. The hardest part is obviously switching between fingers. And the faster you go, the harder it gets. But once you know the theory, the only thing that matters is keep trying. Practice is key every single time. And then after 40 minutes of practice, this happened. Let's go!
Let's go! And this moment made me realize that I was finally ready to attempt the hardest challenge, combining all the movements I learned together. I decided not to follow a specific combo, but to create my own. So I had to figure out the order of the tricks and how to seamlessly blend them together. But in the end, I decided to do the easiest thing possible. Starting with the first trick, the flip extension, then doing a figure eight, and lastly, the switch fingers. This trick is really long, and there are so many things that can fail in this combo. And as expected, every single thing that could go wrong went wrong, at least once. But since I already knew all the tricks, it didn't really took me much to get it down. And after two days of practice, I managed to close a really nice combo with the Karambit knife. I destroyed my knife, but this thing is fun. Use a trainer though, not a real one. Check out more videos and subscribe for a bunch of other skills. And remember, it's all about practice. I'll see you next week with I'm Scared.